What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Zach Tactical, coming at you again with another video. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at a mod called NATO CTRG Mass. It's a part of a pretty large uh, mod collection by Massey on the Steam Workshop on Arma 3, and it is one of many that adds a bunch of different factions and stuff uh, at a small scale to augment your Arma operations or whatever and give a little bit of a you know, background and some lore you can put for most missions. Uh, today, 2035 CTRG adds a bunch of factions from modern day nations in the real world in NATO uh, that are in the 2035 Armaverse. And it essentially just adds, you know, a bunch of different camo patterns, flags, vests, that kind of thing. It doesn't add any new weaponry that I've seen. It doesn't ch take anything outside of vanilla aside from retexturing some stuff but the retextures look fantastic. And it also has some stuff that you can use in non-2035 stuff, which we'll get into probably near the very end. Uh, right now, I'm just remote controlling a player. I'm gonna walk through this little firing line of dudes and show you what it looks like. So starting off from the top, we're gonna go down the list like they show up in Blue Force. So obviously we got all these dudes online, a lot of different factions, upwards of like, I actually get the number. I want to say it's like 12 or 13, uh, but we'll start off. So each one of these is a faction, sub-faction in the Blue Force faction that you can use that has a bunch of different full squad level loadouts like between marksman, automatic rifleman, operator, scout, you name it. It's got it. For this one, I just spawned only operators and you can see um, that they all pretty much have the same kit. Uh, so starting off, we got the NATO operator. You can already tell with the custom uh, vest he's got with the SOF CTRG thing going on there. Also has custom patches on the helmet if he would fucking turn towards me. There you go. And also I think on the backpack it uses Carrie's backpack from Vanilla, which is a very nice touch by the way. And has the NATO, OTAN, and CTRG patch on the back of it, which I, I really like. I don't know why they only made that one that says Carrie in Vanilla. It's a good touch. Obviously they're outfitted with spars, basically the HK416 clone, and they have the Vanilla outfit uh going over here i believe this is belarus obviously has belarusian camo similar setup as well the camo looks fantastic by the way a lot of mods have uh too bright too dark i think he did a very good job of having the right color texture pattern on these uniforms also comes with a little custom patches which i think is cool uh we're just gonna go down the line we got canada obviously the canadian one uh i feel like it was a little too bright uh, the green's a little too green, I would say personally, but at the same time, it's, you know, one of those mods that adds just about everybody. So I'm not going to complain. It's got a pretty cool ass maple tree leaf flag, Canada flag, pancakes. Anyway, going on, we've got the uh, NATO Seaburn unit, which is a specific faction you can use. Basically, it's just going to use the contact DLC Seaburn stuff. So if you want to have that already, go for it. But if you don't have contact DLC, you will get the pop-up, which we all love the pop-up. I think he did a really good job. I don't think there's anything too custom on this. I think he just took the uh, NATO thing, or sorry, the vanilla contact DLC stuff and maybe added some texture to it, and that's about it. Uh, I like it. Uh, we also got France. Did a very good job at capturing the French military's camo pattern. Same old, same old. Just going down the line. Got the French IR patch. Very good touch. Going down the line, I believe this is the Netherlands. Yeah, this is the Netherlands. Uh, I don't know a whole bunch about the camos, but once again, all these are going to look about the same, and the camo pattern applies to that country. So, still, really good job on that camo pattern. Greece, same, same. You can see, this actually might be kind of cool, because if you guys want to do a Arma 3, Arma verse where AAF was like a splinter faction of Greece, something, 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 because I think Altus in the lore was like a splinter nation state of Greece. So Greece still technically exists, and uh, you could have them operate in Altus, which would be kind of kind of badass if you ask me. Captured that little pattern pretty well. Uh, next up, who was that? That's Italy. Italy's actually only, I think it's one of the only uh, factions that has its own custom vest pattern aside from the UK and US as a custom Italia flag on it. Very nice touch. A little extra work put in on the Italian guys. I like it. Uh, going down the line, I honestly forgot who this was. Maybe this is the Netherlands. Did I spawn them twice? 
I don't fucking know. These are some dudes from Europe, I assume. Camo looks good. Uh, well, then we got Norway. Can't miss Norway. Love that camo pattern. Uh, their army uses that to this day. Looks great. And then we've got Poland. Captures that really well. We've used this a couple times if we wanted to do some Grom stuff. Once again, this mod is really, really good for if you want to do missions with a specific faction that you don't always use and you just want a small mod that retextures a little bit just to get that camo pattern for the immersion this is the one to go to because you can just have that quick polish op never even use the uniform again you got like 12 15 other factions to pick from very very good idea uh and then finishing up we've got turkey i think just nope that's not turkey what the fuck is this damn i spawned i totally forgot the patch the the, the country well it's a country and it looks good and then obviously, like I said, Turkey over here, which until I spawned this dude, forgot they were a NATO nation. So, captured it pretty well. And then last up, we got the UK, which they have their own little stuff. I know they had that vest in vanilla. I think he used the vanilla one. Works just fine. The IR patches all do look really, really nice, and they work. And then you got the US over here with the actual custom US camo, OCP camo, uh, vanilla carrier, which we've used outside of this mod we've used that for like cup and rhs missions that kind of blends in pretty well with the cup stuff for sure which i really like that it's a nice little flat pattern it's not too bright not too dark and then the cool thing i was going to show you was that it's got the winter versions of these which look great uh it's obviously flat white it's using the ctrg from apex protocol uniform i believe they have retextures of the other uniforms i didn't spawn them but obviously you see they got the retexture for the spar and it's got the retexture for the hat or the helmet and uh, the uniform and vest, which is really, really nice. So once again, if you want a cheap throwaway mod that you can use for one or two missions that are going to be in winter, this is a good one to pick from because it has that stuff and it's not a massive mod. It uses already existing assets. It's super small and it's very good for just throwing in those missions. Uh, on top of what I was just saying about the winter stuff, you can see back here that we have the winter version of the MATV, which is the only MATV winter version I've seen in all of the workshop. So if you're looking for white vehicles from Vanilla Arma 2035, this is where to go. Same thing for the aviation. Uh, the helicopters do have gray variants, which you can say that's winter camo. You could say it's unpainted. You could say they're navy. If, whatever you want to do, they are there. They work, and they're just like the vanilla counterparts. They're pretty awesome. Uh, aside from that, they also have in the NATO, this first guy that we looked at over there, uh, they come in that faction with vehicles already in it, which they're the same thing as regular vanilla. It's just I think he may have added that in there as a quick drop down if you're using that faction anyway. And they'll come equipped with those guys if you spawn the composition of it where it's multiple dudes, which is a nice touch. Uh, for the other ones, I don't think they had vehicles in there for uh, single spawn. So you'll have to spawn a vehicle and then add them to it, which is just one little tiny extra step. But let me go over here. You can see that cool little firing line of all these operators we got. And I'll go over here. But yeah, so that is essentially it. Now, if you're wondering what I look like, it's the NATO officer kit, which the only difference is he's wearing a beret and a shemag. That's about it. So doesn't change really too much he's just wearing a beret i think in the 2035 nato armiverse officers in combat gear or getting ready to go in combat wear berets which is kind of odd because it's like yo sniper check sir but whatever it's all good but anyway i think that's just about all i've got for this mod um everything that it has in it i kind of said as i was going down the line it's really really good for if you have like one-off missions you want to do where you really only just need to look the part. Uh, weapons, if you use mods like Cup, RHS, you're going to have a majority of the weapons that these guys in their country would use, even if it's not 2035. Um, so you can just use these, throw the uniform on, throw some gear on, and it looks the part. You don't have to worry about like, oh god, we don't have the flag patches, or we're not using the home country camo that we want to use, we look stupid. Purely for immersion, and one-off missions, this mod is a gold mine. It's really, really small, and it's super useful. And I would say everybody should use it. Aside from that, out of five, I give the mod a five. Because it's got everything I need for a small mod that I want to do missions with. And Massey, keep making good ones. I see there's a bunch of stuff on the workshop 
where he's done like CIA, he's done the UK SOF mod, which uh, I don't know if you guys have tried it, but it also has <laughs> a good little Easter egg with the UK SOF mod of uh, some Modern Warfare characters with some cigars, if you know what I'm talking about. It's very cool. It's a good little touch on the cheek. And uh, anyway, that's all I've got. If you like the mod, feel free to like and also go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, super like, right swipe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.